everybody, what's up? My name is Becky Fiddler and I'm here to go over yet another muscle functions video of the week. So this week I'm going to go over the gracilis muscle. It is one of the adductors of the leg. So I, like always, I will go over the origin, insertion functions and exercises of that muscle. So to start off, I'm going to start with the location of the muscle so you know exactly where it is. Then we can add functions and then exercises to the muscle. So the gracilis muscle or originates or starts on the anterior medial edge of the descending ramus of the pubis. And the descending ramus of the pubis is actually just beneath the crest of the pubis. So if you're looking at the front of your body, you have the crest of the pubis right here. The descending ramus is just beneath that. So it's on the anterior medial edge of that descending ramus. And then the gracilis inserts down onto the tibia down here, just beneath the condyle, and that's on the anterior medial surface. So it's on the side of the tibia, just more towards the front of the side of that tibia, just beneath the condyle. So again, I will go over the location of it. I will go ahead and step up here on my bench to kind of give you a uh, higher view just in case I get cut off. Um, again, the gracilis muscle, you're looking at the anterior medial edge of the descending ramus of the pubis. So you're looking just beneath here, okay? That is where it starts, or that is where the origin of the gracilis is. And then the insertion of the gracilis muscle is just beneath the condyle or just pretty much beneath the knee joint on the anterior medial surface of that tibia. Okay, so now that we know where this muscle is, we can now add functions to this muscle. So the main function of this muscle is to adduct the hip or to bring the hip or the leg to the midline. Okay, so as if you're standing on one leg and you have your leg away from the midline and you pull it back, that would be adducting the hip. Okay, it also helps with internal hip rotation. So if I have my knee facing straight and I internally rotate that leg, the whole leg that's internally rotating the hip, it also assists with hip flexion, okay? This be hip flexion, bringing my upper body down, okay? It also is a weak knee flexor, okay? So you're looking, this is knee flexion, it is a weak knee flexor, which means it helps out a little bit, but not a whole lot to the extent that it would actually be considered a knee flexor. Um, it also is a weak knee internal rotator. So if your knee internally rotates just a little bit, okay, that is internal rotation of the knee. It is a weak knee internal rotator. So I will go over those again, just in case you missed those. Okay, you're looking at adduction of the hip, internal rotation of the hip, a hip flexor assister, a weak knee flexor and a weak knee internal rotator. Okay, so now that we know the location and the functions, we can now add exercises to them. Uh, so we know that it, since it's a weak knee flexor, we don't want to do any knee flexion exercises because it's not going to work this muscle out very well. So the best way to work this muscle would be to adduct the hip. Okay, and you can do this through various um, ways. You can use a partner and you can lay flat on your back, spread your legs, and you can have the partner push on the inside of the legs while you pull them in. So if you're pulling your legs in and your partner is applying pressure so that you can't pull them in as fast, that will work the gracilis muscle as well. Uh, you could also use cables, bands. Um, you can also lay on your side 
and lift your leg off the ground. Um, let me see, cables, bands, um, partner, you can also use the machine, the hip adduction machine. Okay, it kind of looks weird, it's the machine, you know, everybody kind of makes fun of on social media, but it works very well and it will help with that. Uh, so I hope you've learned something. I hope that um, you're able to apply this to your training program or at least give it a shot or a go or even if it's something that you just want to try just so you know what it does. You can do that as well. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you guys next time. Later.